All right. It's time for you to understand some driver basics, and it's one of the most important golf clubs that you have in your bag because this is the thing that will set the tone. You stand up, you get it in the fairway, you hit it with a little bit of distance, and all of a sudden your confidence goes up a little bit, and it, and it filters into everything that you've got going on. So I want you to understand some of the basics so that you can play your best golf and particularly hit the driver as, w as well as you want to. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about what we've got going on here. So the first thing I want to start with, with driver basics, is T height, okay? T height is such a fascinating thing because this is what I see people do. I see people get a T. They put the T the in the ground just like this. They're not paying attention to it. I'm going to set that title list up properly. They're not paying attention to T height. And then all of a sudden, I put my driver in there. Take a look at that shot there. And what you can see is, is that the crown of the driver is about at the height of the golf ball itself. And what's going to happen when you tee it that low is you're going to hit a low slice. In fact, if I want to fade a golf ball, I'm going to tee it low like that. And the reason why is the center of gravity of that golf club is going to be a little bit closer to and likely above the equator of the golf ball. That's going to squeeze it out. And it's typically going to, when it squeezes out, it's going to slice or fade. Well, you're hitting a slice already. So what does that mean? What that means is, is that you need to tee this thing up. And the, the tee height that I have here, this is a, a two and three quarters inch tee. And now when I put that golf ball in there like that, settle the driver behind it. Now what you can see is half the golf ball is above the crown of the, the driver, which is exactly what I want it to be, okay? So let me get a golf ball that's gonna be read by the sim. I'm gonna put this thing in here so that it's in that position there. And now what's gonna happen is, watch what happens to the launch of this club. I'm gonna swing the same way each time as a robot that I am. So here we go. This is just, this is my cruiser. All right, and that golf ball just cruising down the center of the fairway. Not a lot of move to it. Probably gets out there. I'm going to say the ball speed on that is probably in the 148 to one, yeah, 145. So look at the launch angle on this particular shot. It launches at about 14 degrees, okay? Now, let me get this shorter tee, and I'm going to try to do the same thing that I just did, 145 on that, okay? And again, watch how things change. So I got about an 80-foot apex, 145 miles an hour of ball speed, and um, that shot went 255 with a 14 degree launch. So here we go. So now, same thing. And now here's this one. You can see that that apex is quite a bit lower. Not a bad shot. That ball gets out there. It's not a bad shot. It's actually pretty good. But now let's look at that. So a little bit of a faster ball speed, 147. If I get a little faster ball speed, I'm probably gonna get a little bit more distance. And that one there carried about 238, went out to about 260. But look at the launch angle. This is what I want you to pay attention to. That other launch angle is obviously quite a bit higher. That's, this one here is at 10.7. And the apex of that one is about 73. So it's not quite as high. Grab a, that's a good one. Grab a, grab a shot of that there, gives you What you can see is that one is a little bit higher than the other. The blue one is the second one that I, I I'm sorry, the first one that I hit. And the red one is the second one I hit. Now, let me see if I can take this with the standard T height, put a little bit more ball speed into this, and see what happens. So again, we're at 11, we're at 73, and we're 238 on 147 and a half. Okay? So here we go. Okay, this might be, fr this might be a little bit faster in the ball speed than the one that, that I just hit, the, the prior one with the lower uh, T height. So let's see what we got here. No, it's about the same, 148. So that's about, about the same. But look at that, that thing launched at 13 degrees. And those extra two degrees make a world of difference. And all of a sudden, that ball's up into the air, it carries, it runs out to 264, 
It's a lot easier golf ball to chase. So you got to make sure that you're paying attention to the tee height. I want to see that, that golf ball at a point where half of the ball is above the crown of the, the driver there, okay? Very important part of this. Now, the next thing I want you to pay attention to is your ball position. Now, ball position with a driver is really, really important. And the reason why is, is that as you have been told many times that you want to get that ball position forward in your stance, most people say right off the, the lead foot, what can end up happening is it has some bad influences, okay? But one of the other things that happens, so I'm going to put that up there like that. That ball position now is right off of my lead foot. So that's where it is right there. Now watch what happens when I swing from here, okay? So, so that one takes off. And now all of a sudden, what does it do? It starts sliding over to the right-hand side. It's slicing, in fact. And what is that slice caused by? That slice is caused by that ball, posi ball position being so far forward that it influences the angle that my shoulders are at, right? So let me tee up another one here for you. And Gibbsy, we're going to go to a down-the-line shot here. And what I want you to see is, so you just got to trust me on this one. My ball position is right in the same spot. But now when I go to reach to that thing, look at where my shoulders are. My shoulders are now aiming way over to the left-hand side. I've spoken with you about this before. So when I get the ball position to where it's way over to the, to the left foot, my left foot, and I open up my shoulders here to accommodate that such forward ball position, now it creates a slice. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see the exact same shot again. And that ball is spinning over to the right. Even though that golf ball there had 100 and, let's just see what this thing, that had 147 miles an hour ball speed. Look at this, this is awesome. Watch this. You see the launch angle on this? This was 9.4. You've been told, well, you got to tee it forward in your stance. Well, teeing it forward in your stance doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to hit it high. In fact, it's going to create an angle of attack that's going to be much more steeper, much steeper, but much more out to in which is where that slice comes from, which is why you see 660 RPMs of right spin. It's also why you see nearly 3,000 RPMs of backspin because that's trapping down on that thing. So it launches at 10, spins like crazy, and only rolls out, what, 18 yards. So it's got grabbing power. It's slicing and it's got grabbing power. Watch what happens when we take this ball and we move it a little bit back in our stance, okay? Now, what I like to see in the address position with the driver is I want to see the ball kind of off my left shoulder. My left foot is going to be outside of my left shoulder. So now all of a sudden I'm there. And then when we go to the alignment, now I want to make sure that my shoulders are in a line with my feet here. So now I'm, I'm squared up. That position looks really, really good. I'm a little bit open there. I mean, a little bit closed there. So now I'm in really good shape, a little bit open. Now watch what happens here. There we go. Now look at this thing. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a golf ball that has a little bit of a draw to it. The ball is back in my stance. But this is what I want you to pay attention to. Pay attention to what we see here. That thing launches now at 12.2. That thing also, by the way, has a little bit of left spin on it, but its apex is now 84 feet. Even though I moved the ball back in my stance, the apex came up. Why? Because my shoulders are square, not open, so the angle of attack of the golf club is more from the inside, which is going to throw the ball up into the air. And in this particular situation, the club face was a little bit closed, and I got a draw. Okay? Not something that harms me. That thing got out to 270 yards there. Okay, so you got to pay attention to ball position. Don't get it to the foot. Get it to the lead shoulder. All right? Now, that brings me to the last part of this, okay? And that is this. Finally, with this club, what tends to happen, ball gets forward, shoulders get open, shoulders get level. I don't want shoulders level. I want shoulders tilted. So not, all are they, not only are they in line with the feet, but they're tilted up like this. So the, the lead shoulder is going to be higher than the trail shoulder. Trail hand is lower than the lead hand. So when we get in here from this position, now all of a sudden when I get into tilt and I'm squared up with everything that's going on with my alignment, watch how much higher this thing is going to go. And it's going to start out 
slightly right of that other one. So that other one started dead down the line. This will start a little bit to the right and it will go a little bit higher even still than that 12.2. So this starts out to the right hand side. I pushed it a little bit, but that thing carried 250 yards, about 250 yards. Now, let's just wait for our information to pop up here and you're gonna see some things that are, that are gonna be noticeably different. Some are gonna be similar, but this is noticeably different. So my shoulder's tilted like that. This is the one thing that you've gotta understand about uh, a driver. I want my shoulders going in an upward direction there. That's one of the most basics that you can have. The vertical launch now jumped up to 13 and a half. So it went from single digits to 12.2 to 13.5, doing all the things that I wanted to do. Look at the apex, now is up to 96. So I got it to get even higher. And as I start to get all these little different things going on, now the golf ball starts cooperating. And I carry that 250 and it goes out to 270. The spin is not too much, has a little bit of a draw to it. It's exactly what you want to have happen. So when you start thinking about driver basics, right? You got to pay attention to what you're doing with the T height, what you're doing with the ball position, and what you're doing with the alignment and the angle of your shoulders. And the ball position and the angle of the shoulders, as far as the alignment is concerned, they kind of are hand in hand. But then you gotta make sure that you've got that tilt, that side tilt, that tra trail side tilt. You gotta make sure you have that so that the shoulders are going in an upward direction at address. The lead shoulder is higher than the trail shoulder. Do all that stuff, and I'm telling you, you're gonna have the basics of the driver all figured out, and you're gonna have that driver going exactly how you want. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.